Hi, it's Chester Tubwell at Blue Pecan Computer Training. And in this video, we're gonna look at a way of protecting cells using a little bit of VBA code. I have created other videos where I've done exactly this using the protect method. But in this scenario, we're gonna look at a completely different way of protecting cells. It's a property of the worksheet called scroll area. And you can set the scroll area within each sheet. Anything within the scroll area can be edited, but anything outside the scroll area can't even be selected, let alone edited. But I've already set this up on this sheet. So for example, I can kind of make a change here, but I can't select, let alone edit, anything outside this range of cells. And it's true also for the fitness sheet. I can make changes to all these times here, but I can't select the totals or indeed anything out of the sheet. You may have already done this using the protect method, but this is just an alternative way of doing it. The first thing I would do is name the ranges that I want to remain editable. I've selected that range of sales cells and I'm clicking in the name box up here and I'm going to call this sales edit area, press enter. And then I'm going to go to the fitness sheet. I'm going to select that range of sales, click up into the name box, and I'm going to call this fitness edit area, press enter. Okay, so I've defined those two areas that I want to remain editable just by creating named ranges within Excel. Let's switch over to the Visual Basic Editor. If you don't know how to open the Visual Basic Editor, the shortcut key is Alt F11, Alt F11. I don't need a module within this VBA project. And you can see I've got three objects. I've got an object for each sheet and an object for the workbook. What you want to do is store this sub procedure within the workbook object so that it automatically runs whenever the workbook is opened. Essentially, the sub procedure is triggered by the workbook open event. I've already created the sub procedure for you, but I'm gonna walk you through it. And I'm gonna double click on this object. I'll just close down the Project Explorer so you can see the code. Very, very simple. What you need to do up here in the code window is select workbook from this drop down list. And then from this drop down list, select open. And that will create this line of code for you, basically saying that anything between that line of code and in sub will be triggered by the workbook being opened. So this is the code you need. Worksheet sales, whatever you've called your worksheet, dot scroll area equals and then the name you gave that area on your sheet. And then worksheets fitness dot scroll area equals fitness edit area. That's the name we gave this area on this sheet. That is all the code you need to lock those two sheets. Only the relevant areas can be edited. Once you've created that code, what you need to do is close the workbook down, save it and close it, and then reopen it. And when you've reopened it, it will trigger the sub procedure. And you'll find that you can only select the cells that are within the edit areas that you've specified here. The other thing you need to be aware of is that the file, and you can see it up here, is saved as an XLSM file which is a macro enabled file. So if I go to save a copy, you must make sure Excel macro enabled workbook is your file type. If you choose Excel workbook, it won't store the macro. So this whole thing just will not work for you. If I do Alt F11 again, just to bring up the Visual Basic Editor, I'll leave that code on the screen for you so you can copy it into your project. But that's all I want to cover in this particular video. Thanks very much for uh, watching. Hopefully it's been useful and I'll see you next video.